can veteran anglers win without using forward-facing sonar? Are the veteran anglers frustrated by this new upcoming wave of anglers and their in-depth knowledge of forward-facing sonar? Is scoping destroying the career of veteran anglers? Can these new upcoming youth anglers, your young anglers, win without using forward-facing sonar? Are the veterans now forced to learn and use live scope? And has Major League Fishing and Bassmaster ruined the sport because they've allowed forward-facing sonar? That's what we're gonna talk about right now. So if you like this kind of content, vlogs, fishing reviews, fishing lure reviews, and all sorts of stuff, click that like and subscribe button and become part of the team. Thank you. So can the old school veteran anglers ever win another tournament without using forward-facing sonar? This has been by far one of the hottest topics there is. I've seen a bunch of people have now started to text me asking me, have I watched Randy's videos? Because he's getting thousands of views and putting one out every day about forward-facing sonar, about how it's ruining the sport of, of sport fishing, how it's ruining bass masters, how it's hurting co-anglers and all sorts of stuff. And it's made me realize I need to talk to some of my friends in the industry and get their opinion on what's going on with forward-facing sonar. So let me be very upfront. This is not an opinion piece. This is not people that have commented on my channel. I have talked to five anglers, some new anglers, some veteran anglers, some extremely old veteran anglers, and even re read some posts from like Mark Davis on his Facebook page and asked a few simple questions to them. Those questions were, can an angler win without using forward-facing sonar? Are veterans frustrated? What's going on? What's the feeling behind it? And do you really think, is there any possible chance that forward-facing sonar gets banned in the Bass Masters and Major League Fishing? Now, if you missed the tournament on Lake Fork this past weekend, the top 10 anglers were all scoping. They all absolutely crushed it using this technology. Mark Davis had a great post today on his Facebook page saying that forward-facing sonar is the biggest advancement in the in technology in the industry that he's ever seen. And most anglers are, or most anglers realize they have to use it to win. And it's unfortunate in many cases. Does it take away the fun of going out there and sight fishing and fishing that way, the old school way? Yes. Does it mean that the young anglers, the Trey McKinney's, the Ben Millikins, those guys, does it mean they can only catch big fish because they have forward-facing sonar? No. People who say that are just being ignorant. These guys, these young anglers, not only can fish anywhere anytime, any place, but they also have brought in the knowledge of using forward-facing sonar to help them propel themselves to catch bigger and more fish. And let's be brutally honest, if you're not using forward-facing sonar and not a scoper, you're probably not gonna win. Last year it dominated in Major League Fishing and Bassmaster. This year it's absolutely been more dominating. The young anglers or anglers who are more used to that technology or embrace than technology are absolutely crushing the old school anglers and those veteran anglers either need to learn the new style of fishing or they need to get out and while i don't want to see old veteran anglers leave i do think that they need to embrace this change this technology is something that helps you catch more and bigger fish that's a, that's it plain and simple period but going up there and fishing shallow and skipping docks and doing the things that are so much fun or sight fishing isn't the way you're gonna win. While the forward facing sonar can help you get to find those bigger fish, it doesn't mean that they're gonna eat. And while I respect his channel and his opinion, Randy has made some unbelievable accusations. And these accusations actually hurt the industry. Saying anglers are cheating that are live scoping is just not right. It isn't right. It might be an opinion and probably and is an opinion, but you have to have proof to what you're saying. The problem is a lot of people get on the internet and get a vlog and do things like this, and then they just say wild shit, hoping something sticks to the wall. And then once they find the thing that sticks, they do video after video about it, trying to make crazier and crazier accusations that aren't remotely true. And it's just for your view and your click. And that isn't good for our industry. His thoughts of if you have to scope fish to get that 100 pound belt, you shouldn't be getting a belt. That's ridiculous. 
Just because you see the fish and know they're there doesn't mean they're you're gonna catch them. How many times have you went sight fishing, sawing a sawfish on a bed, cast at it for hours upon hours upon hours, and it didn't bite? The one thing I, I really appreciated Mark Davis's Facebook post that he posted on there, but I had one major complaint about it, and I quote exactly, some say forward faces sonar is like poaching a buck deer at night with a spotlight. I completely disagree with this. While I understand that seeing the fish underwater and scoping them does help you get, helps you catch them and or see their reaction to certain baits. But saying it's the same as poaching a, a deer with a gun with a spotlight is completely different. And here's why. If you're using a flashlight out there and, and see a deer, as you flash that light in that deer's eyes, it stays still and then you shoot it. Having that sonar go around and, and scope those fish doesn't mean the fish stays still, yet let alone opens its mouth and eats the bait. This is a stupid analogy, and I respect Mark. I really respect Mark. You and I have known each other for years, but this is not the way anyone should be talking about forward-facing sonar. And that's just, that is an opinion. So the questions were, can an angler win without forward-facing sonar? And talk to five seriously veteran and pro friends in the Bassmasters and Major League Fishing. All five of them said no. Forward-facing sonar is the key technology to getting bigger bites and more bites. It has put fish that usually were out of the realm of where you would normally go fishing into a pocket now where anglers are out fishing deeper. They're fishing a little bit slower. They're fishing, they know what the reaction of the fish to the bait is, and it helps them catch more fish. It really does. Helps them catch bigger fish because you can target bigger fish compared to a school of small fish. So when I asked my five friends what was gonna happen with forward-facing sonar, they all said, scoping is here and it's probably going to be here to say. Are the veteran anglers frustrated by forward-facing sonar? A uh, few of them are. They really are. Swindle and some other people that posted online and the five guys I talked to said they were frustrated, but they're frustrated because it's a new technology and they're not really wanting to change. They're later in their careers and to learn this new technology is a lot tougher for a lot of older anglers because they're not video game guys. So while they thought that the forward-facing sonar was helping anglers, they just aren't really willing to learn. And it really was evident this weekend at the Bassmasters on Lake Fork. Just for example, the 25th angler said he didn't scope at all. He caught 77-1. That was Buddy Gross. He came in 25th place, where Trey McKinney and the top 10 anglers all scoped, caught well over 100 pounds. Guys like John Cox and Jason Christie and Gerald Swindle, Rick Clun and Bernie Schultz did not use live scope. They did not video game fish. And they all finished way, way, way down in that 75, 80th place, some even worse than that. And they realize they need to get into this game of technology or else they're gonna be blown out every time they get on the water. Is it destroying the career of veterans? Kinda is. That's what um, four out of the five said. They Four of them said, I'm, I'm having a hard time learning the technology and I am struggling with it. I'm struggling to change the way I fish. And that's a really big thing that happens. We all are really, it's really tough to make drastic changes in the way you do things and the way you fish. Even I have problems with it. I know everyone else has problems with it. Change stinks. We don't want to have change, but this technology is making the elite guys go to the next level and the guys that aren't using it really drop off the face of the earth. Can the youth anglers win without using forward facing sonar? Yeah, they can. They can fish shallow. They can fish. They can fish anywhere. I saw Zaldane's uh, Mr. Bass texted me or we talked on the phone, and he said, "Did I watch the Zaldane Chris Zaldane video about the forward facing sonars and fifty thousand dollars in this?" And I hadn't watched it, and I did go back and watch it. But Chris was talking about how expensive everybody was using it and how all these new kids were scopers. The problem is Zaldane is a scoper too. Don't don't listen to anything else. He scoped all weekend. It was the success why he had success. It is what you have to learn to get to that next level or, or com to be to cash a check and compete. You must be on forward facing sonar. And the guys that are not using it are struggling. Are veterans being forced to use forward facing sonar? Yes, they are. If they wanna make money, make extra money, cash a check, you need to be using forward facing sonar. There was a time when you would fish shallow, skip docks, find weeds, all that stuff. And that still will you can catch fish. But now we're realizing that forward-facing sonar and scoping, you're finding bigger fish that have moved out. And my problem with this is, is that at a time, there was a time when we would see fish move shallow to 
start betting process. Now these fish have been beaten up and have been caught so many times that they've learned that most anglers are going to fish a little bit shallower before they're going to fish deep. And these fish are now moved offshore to do their thing. And this is this is a problem that we've made because there's so many anglers out there fishing shallow. They have the bass have changed. What we need to do is we need to realize that we need to change too. So are veterans forced to use forward facing sonar? If they want to win or do well, they have to change. And last, has bass masters or major league fishing ruined the sport because of forward facing sonar? We've probably ruined the sport as much as anybody. Forward facing sonar is incredibly boring to watch on television, but we have wanted more and more television bass fishing tournaments. We want to see it. We want the to see how our our favorite people are doing. And that has made anglers move to the next level to catch the biggest and best fish, excuse me. So while forward-facing sonar has hurt the industry and probably will continue to hurt the industry, at some point in time, I do think that unfortunately, we just have to admit defeat on this one. Change is not something we want to, to do. And forward-facing sonar is a technology that professional anglers must use, must be proficient at, and if they're not, they're not going to do well and they'll just be painting walls or doing something else instead of what they want to do and that's to be a professional bass fisherman. And my last question to the five anglers that I talked to in text was, do you ever think forward-facing sonar will be banned. And again, I talked to two ang two veteran anglers that had over 25 years into the industry, a couple new guys, and someone that's in the middle. All five of them said, we don't see it being banned. There's too much that the forward-facing sonar brings to the live feed and the television part of bass fishing. With forward-facing sonar, they're able to find bigger and better fish and more fish. And that even though we don't like watching anglers catching fish on a video screen, they're catching fish. And we're seeing that in uh, places like Lake Fork have hundreds of absolutely giant fish. And while it might not be common, an, a Bassmasters goes to places so that we can go to those places later on. And by that, I mean Lake Fork is paying for Bassmasters to show up. They want to show how great that fishery is. And if they if the pros go there and it's absolutely crap, fans aren't gonna go to Lake Fork. I can promise you after this weekend's fishing, there are more people that wanna go fish Lake Fork than ever because there's giants out there that can be caught fairly reasonably and easily. And that helps market Lake Fork, which helps brand it, which helps them with food, because you gotta buy food if you show up, and hotels, and gas, and airline tickets, and all of that stuff. While you might not think Bassmaster is a marketing tool, it is. They get paid for them to show up at that place. And if it stinks, then it makes that place look bad. When it absolutely dominates and crushes it, Lake Fork looks like one of the best places to go fish in the country. And that helps the market to market Lake Fork. So it's a marketing tool and Lake Fork and other places just are showing out. And Ford Facing Sonar is gonna dominate the rest of the season. We need to just get over it. Last year it dominated Major League Fishing and Bassmasters. This year it's an even bigger part of it. If you're not scoping, you're not gonna win. That's just what it comes down to. So comment below and tell me what do you think about my questions and everything else. Mine are not opinions. I went to the anglers and asked them themselves, or a few, five to be particular. I would say their names, but I don't want them to get in trouble or I don't want them to catch grief over what I asked them because I asked a bunch of other questions too. So I'm going to make a couple other videos because, man, this forward-facing sonar and the Randy comments just... To be honest, I, I'm a little I'm a little over it, to be honest. That's the truth. I'm over it. But at the same time, some of the stuff that I read and hear and see is just astronomical. It's just it's just throwing shit on the wall to throw shit. And I don't agree with it. So comment below and tell me what you think. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Remember, take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. 19 minutes. Oh my god. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.